right, we're gonna go ahead and solve some of the math Excel questions for you. This is number 16. Yours won't be exactly like this one, but it'll be very similar. So we're right in this one, we're solving for X. So the first thing I wanna do for this one is I wanna multiply both sides by the denominator to get that X out of the denominator. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by three X plus seven. And then this side cancels out here, and here I'm going to go ahead and distribute because I have an x here and an x here. So I have 3x or nx plus 7n equals x. Now I have an x on both sides, so I'm going to subtract 3nx from both sides, and I'm left with 7n equals x minus 3nx. And now we're going to go fishing or do the distributive property backward so that our, we only have one x. So I'm going to put the x out in front. What's left is, and here's the tricky part, what times x gives me x? 1. 1 times x, and so minus 3n equals 7n. And now we're going to go ahead and divide by the pond, or like I like to say, the pond, what's left in the parentheses so that we can leave x by itself. Cancels out. So I have x equals 7n over 1 minus 3n. Done. All right, so for the next one, this is number 17, I believe. Yeah, number 17 on Math Excel. Yours might be a little bit different, but it would be similar. I have an x in the denominator and the numerator, so I want to get this x out of the denominator, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 17x minus 16. So I have 17x minus 16 on this side times y equals, and then when I multiply this side by 17 minus x, or 17x minus 16, they're going to cancel. So I'm left with 8x minus 5. Now we're going to distribute, combine like terms, and go fishing. So we have 17xy minus 16y equals 8x minus 5. And now I have an x in the, on both sides, so I'm going to subtract 8x. I'm left with 17xy minus 8x minus 16y equals negative 5. Get rid of your 16y because that doesn't have an x in it. So we're going to add 16y to both sides. I have 17xy minus 8x equals negative 5 plus 16y. Fish out an x or use a distributive property backwards. So I put x out in front. I have 17y minus 8 equals negative 5 plus 16y. And now divide by everything that's attached to the x, this whole entire part here. So 17y minus 8, divide by 17y minus 8. Cancel, so I have x equals negative 5 plus 16y divided by 17y minus 8. All right, finally, um, the last one that students were struggling with was number 19 oh, on the math Excel. We have to go ahead and solve this for n. We have an n on both sides of the equation, so that means, oops, we have one here and we have one here. So that means we're going to have to distribute, combine like terms, and then go fishing again. Very similar to the two we just did before this. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get 9 minus n plus 1 tenth times x equals 9n. So we're going to go ahead and distribute this negative so we can get rid of the parentheses. So I have 9 minus n minus 1 tenth n x, or no, not nx, just x, there's no n there, equals 9n. Now, instead of dealing with this fraction, I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 10 so I can get rid of the fraction, which is what we did on our last quiz. We're going to multiply by 10, and I have 90 minus 10n minus x, because 1 tenth of 10 is just 1, or x, equals 90n. So now solving for x, I'm going to go ahead and Where's my other x? Or I'm solving for n, excuse me. Go ahead and get my n's on the same side, so I'm going to add a 10n. So I have 90 minus x equals 90n plus 10n, which is actually 100n. And then I'm going to divide by 100 to get n by itself.
So I'm left with n equals 9 minus x over 